Hi, this is a, a message uh, that I got from Michelle. Um, and uh, it's a prophecy, and I always record them. This is an MP4, so I'm going to record it on video so I can record, uh, put it on my playlist of videos. Um, you can request one of uh, Michelle. I'll put her uh, link in the description tag and you can request one for yourself. Uh, I'll just play it. Matthew, I just come before you right now and, and I want to give you this word. The Lord says, my son, my mercy and loving kindness is endless and my love for you endures forever. Nothing can separate you from my love. There is more I desire to do in you and through you. You have suffered much for my name's sake. Where the enemy has tried to destroy you, I am rebuilding and making you whole. He knows the plans I have for you and has tried to destroy your soul. But I, the Lord your God, am healing your wounded soul. Even from birth, the assault of the enemy has been heavily against you. You are not a victim, but you are victorious in me. Do not look at how far you have yet to go in your journey on this path I have chosen for you. Take my hand and walk with me. You will speak life to the souls of many. I have created you to be my voice upon the earth. Many suffer in anguish and torment. Your words will bring life to them in healing. You will counsel them and the prayers I give you will make them whole. Do not compare yourself with others. Every man's journey with me is not the same. I know the desires of your heart, my son. I have called you to greatness and the price is humility. As you humble yourself before me, I will exalt you. In my presence, there is no shame and no pain. Stay in my presence and abide in me. For in my presence, you will know the healing power of my great, great love. Do not count yourself unworthy. I have created you in my image. I know your desire to travel to many nations. I will remove the fear in your heart that keeps you hidden away. I am removing the self-doubt you carry in your heart. Cease striving and allow me to do the work in you. It is my anointing that breaks the yoke. Even as I deliver you, I will use you to deliver others. The dreams and visions I have given you will increase. Write them down. My wisdom and counsel I have placed inside you. I am sharpening your discernment. Just as I have pulled you up from the ashes, so shall you pull others up. I will use the words you speak over them to quicken them and resurrect the dead dreams and desires within them. Even as I deliver them, I will deliver you as you minister to them. I have given you power and authority to make minds whole. I will send you to the churches to heal the sick and redeem the lost. Your testimony carries power. You are a work in progress, my son, as all of my children are. Do not be discouraged and become melancholy. For I am taking my time in perfecting you. Yes, I am taking great care with every detail, for you are my masterpiece. <coughs> Even as my son healed the demoniac, so shall I use you, my son, to heal others. I have called you to teach and to preach. I have placed the mantle of teacher and preacher upon you. Even now you are operating in these gifts. Fast and pray, my son, for the direction you seek. Yes, you are standing at a crossroads, but I will lead you in the way you should go. 
I will restore all the years the locusts have eaten and restore the finances the enemy has stolen from you. Pray for the double portion of my anointing to come upon you. Behold, I say unto you, my son, my greater rain is coming upon you to refresh, restore, and make you grow. This wilderness you have experienced will be flooded with my blessings, for I am opening the floodgates of heaven over you, says the Lord. Father, I thank you, Lord, for this prophetic word from Matthew. And Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus over this word. I ask that not one word would fall to the ground. And I seal up these prophetic words with the blood of Jesus. Matthew, I just want to pray a blessing over you. I bless you with a greater knowledge of God's great, great love for you. I bless you with wisdom, counsel, understanding, and might that you would do all the things that God has called you to do. I bless you with favor, and I bless you with open doors for God to lead you and guide you and direct you. I bless you with that teaching mantle and that preaching mantle that the words that you speak would pierce the hearts of others and bring healing to their minds. I bless you with the anointing of Elijah, the double portion. I bless your finances. I bless those years that God is redeeming for you. And I bless you with the knowledge of God's plans for you. I bless you with happiness, joy, and peace. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. So uh, that was a great prophecy, and uh, it was great to have uh, the prophecy sealed up like that with a prayer. So uh, I was really blessed to hear that the second time. Uh, perhaps you can request one off Michelle too. <laughs> 